Today, of course, is the federal holiday honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And each February, which is Black History Month, the Richmond Peace Education Center holds its annual series of Generation Dream Edu concerts, remembering the life and legacy of Dr. King and showcasing the talents of local students through music, spoken word, and dance. Richmond Peace Education Center representative Paul Fleischer is here to tell us about this year's talented lineup. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Good to see you. This has been going on for almost two decades now. Yes, we've been doing this for a long time. Quite a history. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Where did the idea come from to start these edu concerts? Well, actually, the first show was done um, in honor of the Harvey family. Mm -hmm. um, and that was in uh, 2006. That was a Richmond family that was murdered on a New Year's Day. Yes, that's right. Um, and uh, having done that one show, we then uh, wanted to continue because um, we wanted to um, continue to honor them and also other people who have lost, had lost their lives to violence. And we also wanted to give um, young people a chance to um, express what their concerns about making their world a better place. And this is a wonderful opportunity mm -hmm. for education and for inspiration, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. I think, uh, I think it means a lot to the performers. The performers get a chance to uh, participate. Um, they feel like they're really doing something important to make their community better um, and to express themselves. Um, so it's, it's, it's really valuable to them. So how do these young performers get involved in this project? Well, we, do, we audition people every year. Mm -hmm. So um, we send out a call to local schools, uh, community organizations. Uh, we invite people to participate. Um, some people have participated, some groups have participated for many years. Um, we have a couple of Indian dance groups that have been with us for many years. Mm -hmm. um, and others, uh, obviously, as kids grow up, and they, they uh, become uh, performers, uh, mostly in high school, but not some middle school as well. Um, they find us, they hear about us, and, and they try out. We have some college performers as well. And what I, I would assume what you try to do is to have each of the performance be meaningful to the purpose of the, the program. Yes, well, we, we want, we ask everybody to, to do a performance which in some way reflects on Dr. King's message of peace, nonviolence, and social justice. And some of, some of them are original. Uh, mm. Quite a number of the, of the performances are original pieces. Mm. So this is a wonderful uh, February performance each year, but what does the center do year-round? Um, we do, our, our two main things we do are advocacy work for issues of peace, social justice, and so on. Um, and then we also do a lot of conflict resolution training for both adults and for young people, um, including we, we have a team, uh, a, a peace, youth peace team. So we train teenagers to be conflict resolution group leaders, and then we take them out with experienced adult trainers, and they train other kids, kids as sort of a peer-to-peer -peer model. Um, and I think kids learn to, um, to they, kids are more receptive to learning about techniques to help them resolve conflicts from their peers, from other young people, rather than just listening to adults. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like conflict resolution is a lost art these days. Well, um, I, I think it's, it's essential art. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we're hoping that th through learning these techniques that people can, that young people can learn to resolve their, their conflicts nonviolently uh, before they escalate into violence and, and reduce the amount of violence that we see um, in our community. Which, of course, in that way is continuing the legacy of Dr. King. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which was in the nonviolence. Uh, so for people who want to come to these, these edu concerts, uh, the nice thing about it is the price. Yes, it's absolutely it's free. It's inspirational. We invite people to come. Um, we have two shows. One is a first Friday show at the Richmond Public Library downtown, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock on February 2nd. And the second show is a Sunday afternoon, February 11th, and that's at 5.30 at Gray Street Theater. And it seems like a wonderful thing for families to come to together and bring the young children. It is definitely a family-friendly show. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and to be able to, as a child, see a young performer, I think, is very inspirational. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, uh, because the, the young people we have performing uh, can serve as models for others. Mm -hmm. We have a young singer that you brought today who is going to be in the show and is going to sing for us today. And you were telling me that, that the song she's singing is partially in Korean. That's right. That's right. 
So that, that's wonderful. So broadening our horizons here this morning, there are two free performances of the Richmond Peace Education Center's Generation Dream 2018 Edu Concert, Friday, February 2nd at 7 p.m. at the Richmond Library's main branch on Franklin Street, and then Sunday, February 11th at 5.30 at VCU's Grace Street Theater. And admission to both performances, absolutely free.